from the vault. Uh, let's start off, we're going to play uh, three videos in a row, and then we're going to look at two PCBs. So take it away past us. Okay, Lady, what is this? This is a Metro ESP32 S2, and it's time to design a tester. I'm using a Raspberry Pi. The reason I like the Raspberry Pi is I can run ESP tool on it for really fast programming. And then I have the uh, Metro test itself. And then once it passes test, as you see, it loads Python on. It's going to ship with CircuitPython 6.0 release candidate zero. And then people can always, of course, upgrade uh, to the latest version as we do more versions of six. So it's Arduino Uno shaped, you can use shields, it's got an ESP32 S2 rover, so it's got PS RAM, DC power, USB-C, uh, optional debug port, STEMI QT connector, uh, and a LiPo battery port. All right, looks like it passed. Can we get that rainbow swirl? That's how you know it's good to ship. More rainbows. Hey, I'm working on a new prototype. I just got these PCBs in. This is a 2.9 inch grayscale e-ink display and I've got uh, four NeoPixels. Well, I got a solder in the other three, but it's got NeoPixels up top that are like edge lit so you can like, you know, um, light up this display. It's got four buttons down here. And on the back, I've got a battery and battery charger, a STEMI QT port, a buzzer, USB-C, and it stars an ESP32 S2 uh, Wi-Fi module with full run circuit Python. And it's got PS RAM and all the goodies for Wi-Fi quickness. So I'm going to do a couple changes. I'm going to add a light sensor. You recommended a light sensor. Um, and I'm going to get this accelerometer working. And then we're going to have some fun Wi-Fi ink projects featuring CircuitPython. That's the magic. All right, Lady Data, what is this? Hey, this is another demo for the e-ink portal that I've been working on. This one, it's running CircuitPython, actually, and getting the price of Bitcoin from Coinbase and also displaying the time. I got all four of the NeoPixels working, and then these buttons also do stuff, and there's a piezo. You can hear the buzzer working. Uh, and this is the back, and uh, I got the battery, ESP32, S2, and then I put these... Um, magnet connectors on. These are like from um, RGB matrices. So then I can uh, attach it to pretty much anything you want that's magnetic or, uh, sorry, metallic um, that magnets will stick to. So very handy way to easily mount it and uh, battery power your e-ink display. All right, and then we have two things that we posted up. Yep, I got uh, some cutie pie boards, NPR 121 capacitive touch, so upgrading our current design. So you plug and play. And uh, this is an ESP32S2 board that's in a Pi Zero form factor. So turns out you have the exact right number of pins. So that'd be kind of fun, especially since like you have two USB connections, one for native USB and one for debug. Um, could be interesting. All right, we're gonna go and answer some questions.